Receptor desensitization refers to the decreased responsiveness that occurs with repeated or chronic exposure to agonist and is a general feature of most signaling membrane receptors. In the case of the acetylcholine receptor and for other ligand-gated ion channels, there's a built-in safety mechanism to avoid unwanted excitation or inhibition. If channels are open for a long time due to the repeated action of neurotransmitters binding and unbinding from the channel, individual channels will close. This process is called desensitization, and it's analogous to the inactivation of voltage-gated sodium channels. The result is the same as if the receptor would have been blocked in the first place. Why is this a good thing? Desensitization of acetylcholine receptors has proven very valuable in medical practice, particularly as a muscle relaxant during surgery. Succinylcholine is commonly used in surgical practice as a muscle relaxant because it causes desensitization of the acetylcholine receptor. Chemically, it's very similar to acetylcholine. It can thus bind to and activate the acetylcholine receptor. It's a big advantage, however, it's the fact that it can't be cleaved by the acetylcholine removing enzyme acetylcholinesterase. As a consequence, succinylcholine can remain in synaptic cleft for a very long time, ultimately leading to acetylcholine receptor desensitization and muscle relaxation or paralysis. Interestingly, certain pesticides and nerve gases, such as sarin, employ the same mechanism of action to induce paralysis of the skeletal musculature. In addition, nicotinic acetylcholine receptors can be blocked by certain plant poisons, such as curare. Many made pharmaceutical compounds such as hexamethonium and naturally occurring toxins present in the venoms of snakes and shellfish, such as alpha bungar toxin. All of these compounds act in the same way. All these compounds act in the same way. They block nicotinic acetylcholine receptor-mediated neurotransmission. If administered a sufficient dose, their action leads eventually to death by asphyxiation due to the paralysis of the diaphragm.